we're going to get rid of these leaves because I don't know where they have been. See, look at that crap. Oh, there's, ugh. All right, so that's something you have to get used to when you're eating fresh vegetables and stuff is there gonna be gross things like that in there. <laughs> I'm gonna take it with this leaf too. Okay, now I'm gonna wash, rinse these off. This is the inside that has not been touched by other human hands. <laughs> okay, so then I have all, as you can see, I have all these in here. And what we're gonna do now with this is I'm going to spin it. And what the spinner, what the salad spinner does, you just put the cover on like that. The cover's now on. And then I go like this. Oh, and you think, oh, it doesn't have any water in it, but look! All right, your kale has a little bit less water on it. And what they've said in the recipe is that you should have no water, additional water on your kale. So we only have to dry it. And what I'm gonna do now is stack it. And I live in Europe and I dislike using paper towels. And in the other video, she shows her using paper towels, but we are going to be thinking about the environment. And I'm gonna use my towels, my kitchen towels that I use for absolutely everything. They're washed and I'm gonna use those instead of the paper towels. One thing that I would do before baking it is figure out what your serving size is. So I'm gonna look at my plan and I'm allowed to have 90 grams of vegetable or 135 grams 135 grams of vegetables, 135 to 145. So depending on when I'm eating this, I can make 130 or 145. So let's see how many of these that would make. Let's just take out the dark ones first. lot so I'm gonna that's a lot so let me put this down these would these are all gonna end up being chips one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve pieces so that's a big chunk so that's about how much I can have of this vegetable. This is my scale. Um, you before, like in phase one, two, and three, I would suggest using the scale just so you can get used to the amounts. Because now you know this is about, at least for me, this is one serving of vegetables. So I know this now. And um, yeah, that's what we're gonna work on. Okay, I'm getting ready to put these in the oven. And you can see that I've coated it lightly with oil. And the recipe says to put salt on it, so I'm gonna give some salt. You can be creative and put different seasoning on it, but I'm, because I've never made this before, I'm just gonna stick with salt for the first time. You can use Himalayan salt or sea salt, and I'm using sea salt, so I'm putting sea salt on it. Make sure that when you put it in the oven, you leave enough room between the pieces so that they can dry, um, not touching or anything like that. So we're gonna leave it here, we're gonna put it in, and I'm gonna let it bake. So we'll check on it in a little bit. So there's my kale chip. I'm going to try making the chips again because I made it the first time and I burned them. <laughs> well, not all of them, you heard me eating some. So, but I found two problems with it. One, and I have one here. Um, I left this part of the kale on there and that just does not get crispy. It stays moist, so that you just, you need to make them look like this. Actually, cut them 
into pieces with your scissors. I have kitchen scissors. So I've cut all the little pieces. Okay, I've cut them all into little pieces. So that is what I suggest that you do is cut your kale into little pieces like this and get rid of all those hard um, middle sections of the leaf because that will not get dried out in the time frame that you have for the rest of the leaf. Here's my second batch that's going in. So wish it luck. All right, this batch turned out much better. So they're actually crispy. And I took them out um, because they started getting brown like this and I didn't want them to get too brown. I would suggest that you try making this recipe. If you don't like cabbage, I would skip it because it does taste a little bit like cabbage. But they're actually a nice texture, it's crunchy. <laughs> it kind of looks like I went into my garden right now because it's winter here and it, that I went on the garden and just picked up dry leaves. <laughs> but they are seasoned and they taste good. So give it a try. This is, this is kale. So, it doesn't come in a ball, it comes in like a stick. Like a stick. See? That's what you're looking for. Um, in America, it might not be so messy. But this is Munich! So it's like a local from the farmer's market. And uh, so we're gonna cut these off and then, um, we're going to put oil on them and I'm going to bake them and we're going to see how that turns out. So you do the same process as you did yesterday except for this one we're not going to take them off because it's like an integral, this stem is an integral part of the kale. So we're going to see how that works. Okay, I just took the kale chips out of the oven and you can hear how crunchy they are. It's really crunchy. Like that, that center section doesn't get crunchy, but the chips itself get crunchy. So it's not good for dipping because they kind of crumble in your hand like a potato chip. So I'm gonna... They're not as cabbagey tasting as the Savoy cabbage. Hmm. Okay. Worth making. And much easier than the other ones. <laughs> the other ones are more work. Um, these are much easier and much faster. So, there we go. That's kale chips.